Let's try to get some type of uh, assessment from Olivier Guita, who's Managing Director at Global Strat, a security and political risk firm for governments and companies. Olivier, we appreciate your time tonight. What's your understanding sure. of what has happened here? Look, unfortunately, it looks like a very well-prepared uh, attack in a Mumbai-style uh, way. Uh, was very surprised it didn't happen in Europe before tonight. Uh, what is really... Uh, troubling is a couple of issues. Uh, the explosions uh, at the Stade de France look like to have been detonated by two suicide bombers. If that's the case, that's uh, something that in Europe we're not, we're not used to. Uh, the, the second issue is the hostage taking, which makes me think about the Mumbai uh, modus operandi uh, at the Bataclan. Uh, a, a couple of points for your uh, for your audience that are important to remember is that uh, just a few months back, the Islamic State had called followers in France to specifically attack concert halls, and the Bataclan is one of the major concert halls in Paris. Also, uh, just a few weeks ago, France started airstrikes against the Islamic State in Syria, and the first two airstrikes were specifically targeting training camps uh, where French uh, fighters, uh, members of IS, uh, were staying. So that could be retribution for that as well. But remember, France is, is still considered number one or two enemy of uh, jihadists in the world, uh, right after the U.S., or, or in par with the U.S. So, uh, And last point is, this is exactly what French security services uh, have been concerned about, and this is the nightmarish scenario they had in mind uh, when they started warning people that didn't have enough means to to take on the, the number of potential radicals inside the country already. Is there much significance in the venues that have been targeted? Well, very much so. I mean, uh, look, it's if you have the you know the French president attending. Uh, you know, a football game at the, the largest stadium in France and you have two suicide bombers next to it, but this is, still has to be confirmed. Yes, this is very meaningful. It means that, look, we're going to attack your way of life, and that's why they attacked also a concert hall, uh, most probably, but uh, also to show that uh, one way or another, nobody's safe, and that's exactly the kind of, of terror they want to inflict on, on the same day. So uh, I would dismiss some of the comments of, uh, that, that I've heard that it might be uh, linked to uh, the, uh, the uh, drone strike on Mohamed Mwazi because uh, such an attack would take weeks, if not months, of preparation. And uh, David Cameron, I'm just looking here, Olivier, the, the Prime Minister has just released the following uh, statement. He says, I'm shocked by events in Paris tonight. Our thoughts and prayers are with the French people. We will do whatever we can uh, to uh, help. Very, very difficult uh, to stop something like this happening, Olivier. We, we're hearing of two explosions near the Stade de France uh, Stadium. We're hearing about 26 people at least dead, uh, many, many hostages taken at a, at a different uh, location. And of course, whoever it is, and we simply don't know at this stage, Olivia, who has done this, but they're looking maximum profile. They're looking maximum impact and publicity, and that's what they're getting. Exactly. But uh, at the same time, you know, uh, the, the the reports are coming in of uh, of different witnesses looking at what it is. But you know, the 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 automatic weapons, the fact that uh, we uh, had in just the past three weeks uh, two attacks foiled in France. One guy that wanted to uh, to attack a military base in the south, and uh, also the fact that it was revealed that uh, the plan for Charlie Hebdo's attack and the supermarket in January was basically remotely controlled by a French jihadist member of uh, Islamic State in Syria. Uh, so, you know, we don't know where it is, but uh, it, it looks like it's pointing very much so to, uh, to a jihadist group that uh, had French uh, on, uh, France on their uh, 
on their target list. 